Some say a picture is worth a thousand words, but for this family, it's a letter. Wrote on the back of an envelope. A letter they've been leaning on. I think she knew something was gonna happen to her. Handwritten and hidden in her bedroom in the days before she disappeared. And she had wrote that if anything happened to her, this one certain person had said he would try to hurt her. 31-year-old Lisa Green's family believes she had some sort of warning of what was to come. I think that when Lisa walked out of that house, she died that day. It's been more than six years since Leah saw her big sister, Lisa. Hi, I'm Leah Coomer, and I'm looking for my sister, Lisa Green. Cradling a picture from June 2014, showing Leah's now seven-year-old daughter, only a baby at the time, in her missing sister's arms. Should I ever get her hugs? Or, or hey, how you doing? She got robbed of that. That's not fair. Life hasn't stopped for the busy mother of two, now raising a family of her own. But she can't help but look back on better days before her big sister walked out of her home and unknowingly out of her life. She had got up, told my dad that she was just going on the back porch. She didn't have anywhere to go, nothing to do. She was just going to stay at home. Families say it wasn't unusual for Lisa to spend some time on the back porch, especially on an afternoon in June. But this time she left and never came back. They said, I think we had to wait 48 to 72 hours before we could file a missing persons report. So we waited. My dad filed it. That's when LMPD took on the case. One of the first things uh, that happens is we try to establish a, a pattern where a person's missing. And what we have to decide is, are they missing or did something sinister happen? Detectives collected DNA samples from Lisa's room. My dad had gave her Lisa's hair out of her hairbrush, a uh, piece of Lisa's clothing, and we'll put this in, name us, run her, we'll see what we can find. Nothing. It wasn't only detectives running into roadblocks in the investigation, but also Lisa's family, who had started putting up flyers. Every time we would post them, they would get torn down. It's like someone knew something or they didn't want it to be posted. And there was a certain someone who caught their attention. The person mentioned in Lisa's letter. It was a friend of her and her boyfriend's. But police say while that may have been a person of interest, they would need proof to make him anything more. Sometimes what may be evidence is not evidence, not unless you have something else to corroborate it with. And certainly we would look at that and look at that individual or individuals that may be, but you also have to have a time and a place to put them there. Much like that letter, no lead ever led to Lisa. And we hope that they're safe and sound and just decided that they didn't want to live the life they were living anymore. Unfortunately, sometimes that can end in tragedy. Now, the family prepares for yet another season without her. Like Thanksgiving and Christmas. was Lisa's favorite holidays. Facing a reality that's too painful to put into words. As bad as we want her to come home, I don't think she's going to. If you have any information about the disappearance of Lisa Green, we urge you to call the LMPD anonymous tip line at 574-LMPD. For the Unsolved Team, I'm Shay McAllister.